All right. Hey, gang, hope you're all doing well. So I, I want to emphasize something with training. Consistency is key. I can't emphasize this enough. This is one reason I talk about periodization uh, on a regular basis with regards. If you see my, any of my other videos, particularly fully detailed plans, I break it down for you. And I have things in blocks of three to four weeks because the body needs a chance to adapt to a certain type of training stimulus, whether you're going up or down. And I, and I emphasize this in all my training videos. Um, and the same thing applies to no matter what events you're training for. You can be training for the 800, you can be training for the marathon, the 5K, 10K, whatever it is. So, and the reason why I bring this up because I, I come across a lot of folks who just say, you know what, I'm going to do their workout today because I like their workout better or whatever. And it, it, it kind of, well, not only can it affect your training in a, in a non-productive or negative way, but there seems to be an assumption out there by a lot of folks. I'm not saying everybody, but this is, there's a magic workout or whatever it is. This, if I do this workout, it'll propel me forward. Well, that's not the case, unfortunately. Okay. And it depends on what you've done up to that point to get the full benefit of that particular workout. Have you done the right things? You know, I'm, I'm going to train with these 5k guys today, but I've been training for the 800 and the mile for the past, whatever, uh, half a year or whatever. On the flip side, I'm going to train with the milers today. I've done 10 past weeks of marathon training and I'm going to train with the milers this week because the speed is going to help me. Well, uh, hypothetically speed helps you, but if you're not incorporating it within the training up to that point to begin with, you're not going to be able to get the full benefit of the workout itself. So the reason why I'm saying this, I want to emphasize that point. There is no magic workout. It's a consistent block of an extended period of time of things that you need to adapt to. And I emphasize this with coaches as well. And again, coaches have their own philosophy. You can do whatever they want. Obviously, and so can you. But this is one of the things that, unfortunately, I've learned the hard way over a bunch of years. And, you know, whatever you're training for, training should be um, scheduled and set up in such a way so that you can adapt to what you need to adapt to without ma maximizing risk of getting sick or hurt or both at the same time, which sucks. OK, so I want to emphasize that and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail, but I want to I want to this is an announcement I want to make. OK, this is like a public service announcement announcement. I partner with somebody. And the reason why I do this, OK, identity IQ, you know, a lot of folks, when you register for races, you know, you're online, you're putting you're registering with your credit card online. And if you're purchasing shoes, you know, getting a new pair of shoes that you already know, whatever it is, running clothes, a lot of folks order stuff online. OK, so our personal information is out there. And if you ever have concerns about being hacked or your identity stolen, this both things have happened to me or you're worried about yourself or your family, if you have one, um, whatever, whatever it is. I partner with Identity IQ for this particular reason, because I, I've noticed a lot of people are getting hacked when they're particularly putting their personal information online, whether it's hacking your your banking, hacking your online, whatever it might be, your social media. And it's frustrating. There's no, nothing more frustrating than having to fix that hack or reset your passwords for everything, or even if your identity is stolen, trying to get your name and your credit back. So I want to bring that up. Take a look at them, okay? Identity IQ, that's my personal link. And there's, per there's people that you can talk to if you have questions, but I, I can't emphasize this enough. And go to the free dark web search. Just plug in your email address, okay? And you'll be able to see whether your email has been compromised. So I just wanted to bring that up. Because, you know, I, again, I, I, from personal experience, I don't want that stuff to happen to you. And a lot of people shop online and all this stuff. And this stuff is happening. These people are savvy, smart, very sneaky, and nefarious. So I don't want you getting hurt in any, in any way possible. So, so I wanted to bring that up. And now back to the training component, all right? Um, consistency. And again, no matter what you're doing, I recommend three to four-week blocks for the most, most training sessions. Sometimes, sometimes they're a little bit longer. Um, but three to four week blocks minimum because it takes about 21 to 28 days to adapt to a certain stimulus. That's called periodization. Okay. Whether you're increasing volume or increasing the speed or intensity of something, the body needs a chance to adapt. Okay. And I, I apply the same logic going down when you're peaking in your last couple of weeks or whatever, you know, some people drop 10%, 20%, a bunch of times each week. And sometimes you might feel a little bit out of rhythm come race day, right? Well, there's a reason why, because the body didn't get a chance to adapt each week to the change in the training volume or the change in, a, or in the intensity or both. Some folks, folks drop the volume and increase the intensity at the same time. And that's not always productive either. Okay. It depends on what you're training for, but there is no magic workout. So if your coach prescribes something for you, it's for a reason. Okay. And I, I've seen folks do this and not benefit from it and be frustrated as to why they're not getting better and so on and so forth. So this is a little bit more of a, it can be a difficult conversation to have with athletes and coaches, but it's an important one because as coaches, we look out for your well being. We want you to run your best when you need to run your best the most. Okay. So or when you want, when we want you to run your best or when you want to run your best. And that's the key. So hope you found this video helpful. If you did hit the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet. I haven't done that yet. I've got 400 training videos here for free. 
at your disposal. I've got memberships available. So if you want to have personalized training from me, you can do that too. You have access to a monthly Zoom meeting as well. And my email itself is blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com. And feel free to email me the questions and so on and so forth. So I hope you found it helpful. Check Identity IQ slash 161 River Ave. Go take a look at it. Look for yourself. You know, that's all I can say. It's, I highly recommend it. It's very, very well respected. It's one of the bigger ones around <laughs> and that are out there. And uh, if you're worried about, again, protecting yourself and your family, don't look any further. Have a great week, everybody. Talk to you next time.